I'm going to walk you through steps 11 through 20 of free code camps, um, responsive web designs, first project, which is learn HTML by building a cat photo app. So we just finished step 10. Um, and we're going to go to the next part. So this kind of pops up a lot. So we just have to click ask me later. Anyways. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is actually add some text to um, our anchor. Right, so we can actually click the link. So we're gonna write cat photos. And right there, as you can see, it displays blue, just like a link you would expect. And if we click it, it says, well, normally this link would bring you to another website. It works. This is a link to the blah, blah, blah. Normally it would actually, we'd actually go to that website, but um, because of whatever uh, free code camp is doing in this um, display here, it works a little differently. Um, so we're just gonna check it and go to the next one. All right, so. Um, we should actually have um, cat photos to be in a paragraph tag. Um, so we want all text to go inside of paragraph tags like this. So it's going to display a little differently. So paragraphs are, um, there's um, spacing on the top and a little bit on the bottom. And so that means the image isn't on the same line as the paragraph. So we're adding a little um, distinction right there. Okay, and so next um, we're gonna add a target attribute. So just like href or source right there or alt, or there's a new one um, and that's gonna be inside the, the link right here. So I'm gonna go right there at the, before the, close, um, the greater than sign and we're just gonna write target equals um, quotations like that. And then we're gonna put in blank. So what this is gonna do is when you click the link, instead of opening right here, um, it'll actually open in a new tab. So if you want, if you're doing an external link, you might want to think about adding a target equals underscore blank because um, you want people to stay on your site. They don't, you don't want them to get lost on another site. So if you want them to be able to come back, maybe you open something in a new tab. You don't always have to do it, but something to think about. All right, so next we're actually going to turn this um, image into a link, which is something you can do. So we're going to put, um, so we're going to add an opening anchor, closing anchor around the image. And right here, we're going to add a href attribute equals. And we're going to, we want it to link to https colon slash slash free cat photo app dot com. So copy and paste that in right there. And now if we were to click this again, it's a little broken here because not broken, but this is how it's supposed to be on free code camp. Um, but normally we actually would be taken um, somewhere else by clicking the image. Okay, next step, um, we're going to actually use a section element and we're just going to use this to separate cat photos from the rest of everything else. So everything's inside um, main and actually it wants us to say everything that's in main um, and we, they we want them all to be inside a section element. So we actually should indent everything inside of here um, because there are, oh, we all don't, did a mistake. What happened there? I'm just going to press tab, 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 and tab. All right, all good. Oh, it did not work. Um, oh, I forgot this closing tag or sorry. Yeah, I had a closing tag, but I didn't have the greater than bracket, so I didn't recognize it. There we go. Now there's a section inside of main. So we are, we're going to have a new section and uh, that's going to be below the existing section. So opening and then um, closing. That's all. Okay. Next inside of this, we want another H2. So H2, H2, cat lists. There we go. So now we have a new H2. So you you only want to have one H1, but then you can have a couple of, you can have H2s, but you don't want um, an H2 to be a subsection. You would use an H3 instead, but because these are two sections, separate section, we'll have another H2. Okay. So like I just said, um, uh, if we do did a, something of lower rank like H3 right here, this is going to be a subsection. So underneath cat lists, right? That's the, that's the hierarchy at the very top is cat photo app. Then 
of equal value are cat photos and cat lists, and then something even less would be things cats love. So we're making a list. And so this is a little bit smaller than this. And so we know, oh, this goes underneath this section of cat list, and cat list goes under the section of cat photo app. All of it actually is under cat photo app. Um, okay, so now we're actually gonna do an unordered list. So right now nothing's gonna change but we're gonna add an, a UL element. So UL, and then we're gonna have a closing one, UL. Cool. So we're gonna need list elements, LI, to actually put the um, whatever we want inside the list. So remember, just like everything else, we wanna indent when we're putting tags inside of tags, so LI. So the first thing it wants us to put, cat nip. Another thing cats love is laser pointers. And the last unordered list item is lasagna. Oops, lasagna. Okay, as you can see, this unordered list is actually just bullet points. So they're, they mean the same thing. 